very 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 good evening friends this is rahul magan here is a group chief executive officer treasury consulting and also a venture capitalist today i am going to be covering a very very important topic basically a tactical shift which is happening in the hedge fund industry across the globe basically two tactical shifts which are happening in the in the hedge fund industry across the globe you know that treasury consulting also a hedge fund we take multiple positions buy sell and we are a prop hedge fund and we are launching multiple new products also whereby and we trade we trade on our own money we don't take somebody's money to trade that's more important thing like the other hedge funds so basically there are two kind of hedge funds which we have so one kind of hedge funds is a prop hedge fund like us who trade their own money they do not trade somebody else's money another kind of hedge funds are those who take somebody's money example they take the they take the money of the people deposit in their accounts they take the positions on behalf of this money whatever returns they would be getting they would be redistributing to the clients so the different hedge funds of the globe are having different kind of agreements with their clients they go accordingly now what happens that hedge funds are known by the way there are two large continents in the world who are where you see lot of hedge fund activities one is definitely united states the other i say that the united states is the hub of hedge funds other is definitely the europe singapore we have few hedge funds but singapore is not a hub of hedge funds by the way so what is exactly happening is that hedge funds are known of taking short positions now what is a short position which is also known as short bets uh i just take a hypothetical example it's a complete hypothetical example why i'm again repeat it's a very hypothetical example suppose microsoft is launching a product suppose microsoft launching this pen and what is this pen this is an internet enabled pen you know which is having inbuilt camera connected with the internet so basically a technocrat bag pen which microsoft is launching just a hypothetical example and microsoft is very bullish that the pen which they are launching this pen is not available by apple sony and different companies so they are having a competitive edge and they priced it at 150 dollars example Mr Nadella the CEO of uh, Microsoft is very bullish that he will get 4 million units the 4 million unit in US we call this units it means that he is bullish that he would be able to sell 4 million units so 4 million into 150 which is around 600 million dollars 600 million you know they are expecting or you can say the kind of sales okay now the question is microsoft launched this pen and the hedge fund is having an internal information that the nib of this pen is having some error connecting with the internet and that information they got it from somewhere maybe internal leak and that turned true so the when the when the initial lot came into the market people bought it and when people bought it they they you know complained about this nip and the share price of the microsoft assuming it is 200 dollars it went down to 150 because there was hype in the market that microsoft is launching this pen no and apple sony nobody launched it so you know competitor edge hedge fund is having the information about the nip the short sell and Microsoft went from 250 to 150 they got a brilliant gain. Short selling is a double edge sword. What would if Microsoft got this information uh, the hedge fund got this information and assuming this information is correct about the nip but 
the the the, the buyer the customer like me i build the way microsoft products are always good the customer say okay that's not a problem and microsoft immediately release a statement that we are releasing a software patch this patch will debug this error and you are uh, nib will start working so from 200 dollar to 180 and then from 180 to 240 hedge funds are gone completely gone very recently we have seen that in the mimi stock now what is a mimi stock a mimi stock is a stock who do not have any credentials microsoft is not a mimi stock mimi stock means a stock who do not have any credential who do not have any business model or their business model is completely completely obsolete the company is 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 very old company no business model these are mimi stocks in india we call them as penny stocks generally hedge funds are taking short positions on the mimi stock so what they do the platforms like reddit robin hood very recently we saw reddit robin hood they given hype the stock go up and suppose the stock is $23, it go to $400 from their hedge fund sell. And when it come down, the gain. Very recently, in fact, last week, hedge fund lost another $700 million by short selling the Mimi stock. They not learned anything in the last one to two weeks. What had happened with Reddit, Robinhood and we know. There is another thing which hedge funds now started, which is called negative bets. And that is very dangerous. I think dictionary lexical is not allowing me to use more than dangerous, but this is very dangerous. So what it is now, let's change the example. This pen is made up by a company known as Pen Inc. New York. Just a hypothetical name. It's a complete hypothetical name. If this company exists, coincidence. Pen Inc. New York. Hedge fund is having an information, inside information that the financial statements of the company is having a fraud of $400 million. So basically, they got an information that they are understating the loans. This company who making this pen, Pen Inc. New York, this company is... This company actually taken a loan of $400 million from JP Morgan, assuming. And they are mentioning, yeah, or they have taken a loan of $1 billion from JP Morgan Chase, and they are only mentioning $400 million in their books. Which means they are not reporting $600 million, which is under-reporting of the loan. By the way, it happens everywhere. The hedge fund got the information, and they got the information generally from the auditors. By the way, we all know that how Big Four works. Don't forget the wire card. And what they do, they negatively bet it. Now, this is not a Mimi stock. This is a well-known company who is known for making this pen in New York and the share price is $150, not a Mimi stock. They sold this stock because they got an information from the auditors that this time they are not signing of the balance sheet or there are issues pertaining to the under reporting of the loans and assuming that that assuming that turned true they sold it at 150 dollars the current price it will went down to 32 dollars remember very recently what had happened with one it company you know what i'm talking when two billion dollars were evaporated in less than one week these negative bets are very dangerous they are based upon an information which may or might not be accurate huge wealth of investors are sitting on these negative bets very recently bloomberg reported that the hedge fund made good money on a negative bet on few stocks but i don't think that the regulators of us and europe should allow hedge funds to go with the negative bet short selling is one thing that is okay short selling is a part of life it happens everywhere it happens people short sell sometimes they win sometimes they lose and when they lose you know by the way there are hedging strategies to cover short sell as well but in case of negative bets it's a big if there is a miss it's a big miss 
So there is a tactical shift which is happening in the industry and that tactical shift is that the industry is moving from negative from short sell to negative bets. Maybe they wanted to earn more profit. They wanted to earn as, as maximum as possible, maybe because of this, but this is not the right approach. This is Rahul from Treasury Consulting Group. You know my personal number, which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Have a great time. Thank you.